Hi, I'm Dr. Bertice Berry, and I really need to tell you this story. When I was in college, I became an RA, a resident assistant. There were many reasons for doing this. One, I wanted my own bathroom. <laughs> and two, I needed to be a voice representing black women and women of color um, in those dorms where people had never been close enough to know who we were or why we were or what we were about. One thing stands out. Um, women, were, young women were being written up. Uh, they were getting infringement writings and, you know, having to go to dorm court. And I was on dorm court. Um, I was actually, I became the head of the dorm court. And they were being written up for smoking marijuana. When in fact, they'd be straightening their hair. Now, those of you who know what I'm talking about already, you, you, you feel in this with me. This is back in the late 70s, early 80s, and people hadn't been close enough to know um, that a black woman, you know, our hair is text has texture. Everybody's hair has textures, but ours has a curl pattern. Most of us, not all of us, has a curl pattern that can do anything, which is what nappy really meant. It takes on, it can take on any texture. And with a hot straightening comb, or nowadays people use blow dryers and blow out kits and all kinds of stuff. But back then people used a hot straightening comb and would straighten the hair. And it has, of course it has a smell, it's burning. So the assumption for the resident assistant was they must be smoking marijuana because I've never smelled that smell before. And they would walk in and people would show them the straightening comb and they in disbelief go, no, I'm going to write you up anyway because, well, why you have a hot comb? You're not supposed to have a hot comb. You're not supposed to have any kind of cooking thing. Well, this is not cooking anything. It's a hot comb. But they would be written up for smoking, suspicion of smoking marijuana. In fact, most of them didn't even call it a suspicion. You'd get that little pink slip under your door, marijuana smoking. And they weren't smoking marijuana. They were straightening their hair. And many of these women I knew had come from really strict backgrounds, um, a lot of more islanders, and being written up for this drug infringement because they were straightening their hair. And so I wanted to set the record straight and be a voice to say, y'all don't know nothing. I feel like that today. Um, when I changed up my hair, which I used to do a lot more often with dreadlocks. You could literally tie it up, wear it down, crinkle it. Um, and I wore dreadlocks 40 years ago. And, you know, I, I did some of everything before anybody was wearing a dreadlock. Um, and recently, people have been asking the, the, the most amazing things. Somebody asked me, how did your hair grow out like that? Is it black magic? And I was like, baby, what? And this was a young person. And I'm thinking, you know, they got YouTube videos for how to do this. You, it's, it's not that mysterious. And yet, because people have not gotten close, and our ancestors did the work. They did the work to get out of enslavement. They did the work to get past lynchings. They did the, the work to get in government seats. They did the work to get us in the same school. And even in the same school and in the same rooms and in the same workplaces, we don't talk to each other. We don't get to know one another. We don't know how to ask a simple question like, that is amazing. Can you share with me how you did it? And yet, we want to be somebody's ally. We want to center ourselves in someone else's story without even being close enough to know the story. Now, I know you got that one black friend, but one black friend is not blackness. One white friend is not whiteness. One Latino is not Latin. You need to know more. We all do. We need diversity in our life to the point where we don't know where, <laughs> how we lived without it. We need to get closer in a way that helps us speak up for injustices, but not center ourselves with our little ally badge like we can take over somebody else's story. I'm a little bit stressed with it this morning because 40 years ago, it made sense to say she wasn't smoking marijuana. She was straightening her hair. But in 2022, we shouldn't be asking about black magic. I love you and I know we're going to get there. We have to get closer. 
and we get closer in humility, not in cultural competency, but cultural humility, because I can't even be competent in all of blackness because I'm only me and you're only you. I love you. Let our stories connect, but stop centering yourself in someone's story, especially when you don't even know it. I love you.